Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon everyone. So today I'm going to be going over how you can upload your Minecraft mod pack to the Curse Forge launcher. So first things first, you gotta make yourself a mod pack. You can do this by going up here, clicking create custom profile, and you'll get something like this. You add more content and you select the mods that you wanna have in your mod pack. I made this very simple mod pack that is pretty much like an ocean adventure type mod pack. So to actually begin the process of uploading and getting your mod pack ready to upload to the Curse Forge launcher, what you want to do is you want to click the three dots next to play. You want to click export profile. When you click export profile, you want to name your profile something. So I'm just going to name it Bay's Ocean Adventure. I usually typically put a package version 1.0. Whenever you have updates, I usually like to do like 1.1, 1.2, so on. Um, and then for select the files and folders that you want to include. So you typically want to have your config file, your mods, and your resource packs if you have any. But that doesn't mean you can't have any of the other ones. You can select whatever options you want to have or not. And then after that, you click export. You select the location where you want to export it to. I'm just going to put it onto my desktop. And then after that, you're going to go to their website. And uh, I'll show you how to do that from there. Alrighty, so whenever you make it to the website, you first want to log in, so you're going to usually find the login method on the top right. I had to connect my Twitch account for it to work, but you might have to use some type of other method. But for right now, there's actually three methods for you to upload your mod pack to the CurseForge launcher. You can click create a project on the top. You can click start a project here, or you can go to your dashboard. And in the project section, you can click start a project. So I'm going to click that and start a project in the project section. It's going to open up the same page. All of them should open up the same page. If it doesn't, uh, that means I would either refresh or use a different option because this is the default page, which you actually might recognize from the older versions of this video or of this uh, method to upload your mod pack. So when you want to select a game, of course, you want to select Minecraft. I mean, if you're uploading something else, you can select whatever game. This actually kind of works for everything. Some stuff might differ, but it's pretty similar to creating any type of project and uploading it to the CurseForge launcher. So for category, you want to choose mod packs. And then under here, I'm just going to write Bay's Ocean Adventure. For description, I actually think there is a set amount of words. Um, I think in the past videos that I've said that there wasn't any. Uh, nowadays, I actually think there is, so I'm just going to spam Bay's Ocean Adventure a little bit here because this isn't a permanent mod pack. I will be deleting this as soon as I finish showing you all how to upload your video or upload your mod pack. So in this option, uh, you pretty much just leave this default. You can change it if you want to. If you want to allow distribute your project outside of the CurseForge launcher, you can allow or do, just do not allow. I'm just going to say do not allow for now. Uh, for the rights, you can choose whatever rights. I usually do all rights reserved. The pri primary category is what your mod pack, what, or what you're creating your mod pack for. Like, what type of style of category is it? So mine is a, a ocean adventure, so I'm going to do exploration. And then for other categories, I'm just going to do adv uh, adventure and RPG. And maybe I'll do combat and PvP. So for your logo image, you actually need to make a photo in GIMP or Photoshop or whatever type of program that you can make a 400 by 400 pixel photo. So whenever you do that, you're, I have mine right here on my desktop. You just click choose file. You find the photo. I'm just going to do that and upload and Bezos and Adventure is uploaded. I'm going to say allow comments, but you could turn off comments if you don't want to, or you could say if this if it's an experimental project, you can also click that if you want to, but I'm going to leave that off for now. But after you click, oh, I guess you need a summary now. Uh, we're just going to do Ocean Adven, and then go from there. All right, click Start Project. And sorry, slow internet, there we go. All right, so now you, that you have your page or your default page, this is where whenever somebody actually selects and opens up your mod pack, this is like the default page that they're going to open. What you want to do to actually upload this file or the exported f file that you exported from CurseForge, what you want to do is you want to click files or you can click file up top right here. 
And when you click that, you're going to click choose file, and then you're going to select Bay's Ocean Adventure. Of course, if this is a, it's, if it's a WinRAR file or a zip file, it doesn't matter. Just make sure the file is compressed and closed. So you want to click open, and when you upload, it's going, or when you click open, it's going to upload for you. For display name, I'm just going to put Bay's Ocean Adventure. So there's, there are three release types. So there's alpha, beta, and release. Beta and alpha, I've noticed in the past, sometimes do not show up on the CurseForge launcher whenever you're searching for them. So I typically click release, especially when you want to release a new mod pack. Uh, for change log, I'm just going to say new upload. Leave this the same. Of course, then select a Minecraft version. Mine is 1.19.3. And then after that, you scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to click Submit File. And then what's going to happen is it's going to open up a page. It's going to pretty much have an option in the files. And so whenever, if, so this was the default page. If you click Files, it's going to have a recent file in here. And it's going to have Status Processing. You're going to have two options. This is either going to say Approved or Denied. It's going to actually take them maybe a couple days for them to actually approve or deny it. But if you are denied, what's going to happen is they're going to ring your bell or not really ring your bell, but they're going to send you a notification explaining why you were denied. So what you want to do up top is you're going to get a notification in this bell here. You just click the notification bell. It's going to say the reason why uh, maybe the summary wasn't written long enough or a certain mod had problems or X. It, it could be any type of problem. Uh, they will give you a, a detailed uh, description of the problem and hopefully you can figure it out a solution if not feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll give you a hand and try to help any of you out um my response time will vary but uh it's pretty easy um i will actually show you what a approved profile looks like so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click dashboard and then I'm going to click view projects and I'm just going to choose one of my older ones. I'm going to choose base world. So under base world. Wow, this was a while ago, but uh, if you click files, it's going to say 47 downloads, blah, blah, blah. But it's going to down here when you click recent files, it's going to say approved. And if it's approved, that means it's uploaded to the CurseForge launcher. It may take a day or two for you to actually see it on the CurseForge launcher, but it shouldn't take any longer than a week. And if it does, feel free to message me in the comments and I'll see if I can find it or help you out. Uh, sometimes the CurseForge launcher, because there are so many mod packs, what you might have to do is search up the author's name. So I would search up Bay Games. So if I go to the CurseForge launcher and if I click browse mod packs and if I type Bay Games here, it actually should pop up all of my mod packs. And uh, if if you type in just uh, if I just type in Bay, it actually might not pop up. You're gonna have to scroll down a little bit. Here's one of the mod packs, my old test one, but um, and here's the other one. But some of them, if you ver use a very generic name, it will not pop up, or you'll have to scroll down forever until you find it. So I do recommend kind of choosing a unique name, and if you can't find that, just type in the author's name, and it should pop up. But uh, that is actually it to uploading your mod pack to the CurseForge launcher. I did make this video way shorter compared to the last one, but I hope all of you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much were this year it's been crazy like it's uh, the growth on this channel and the views and all that stuff and i appreciate all the comments and all the supportive messages and all that stuff i really do appreciate it but if yeah if you have any problems feel free to leave it in the comments i love you guys have a wonderful night or day and i will see all of you in the next video peace